Volkswagens displaying not one but two electric cars here at the 2013 Frankfurt Motor Show. The e-Golf here and the e-Up that you can see behind me. Between them, they promise to be perhaps the most convincing electric cars yet. Volkswagen's claiming a range of just under 120 miles for the e-Golf, which is better than the Nissan Leaf, but it's still not quite the game changer that we were promised. Performance is respectable though, with 113 brake horsepower, it has a top speed of 87 miles an hour and accelerates to 62 miles an hour in just over 10 seconds. For the smaller e-up, the equivalent stats are a 93 mile range, a top speed of 84 miles an hour and 0 to 62 in just over 12 seconds. Both cars can charge up from your normal electric socket at home or you can pay extra for a fast charger that will charge the car to 80% capacity in just half an hour. While other car manufacturers have gone down the route of building bespoke electric cars, Volkswagen's used its existing platforms and that could be one of the big advantages of both the e-Golf and e-Up. They're both great cars to start with and having electric power could make them even more appealing in this energy conscious world. There's certainly a lot of interest in these electric Volkswagens here, but whether they'll go on to be big sellers really depends on the price. We don't know that yet, and it'll be interesting to see if Volkswagen follows the leasing model that other car manufacturers have adopted. We'll find out very soon. Click the links below to see our full review of the car that will probably be the e-Golf's main rival, the Nissan Leaf, plus our group test of the Golf Diesel and our full review of the Volkswagen Up.